Hi, I'm Brian Makereza. The title of my presentation is Plant Water Status and Sunburn in Japanese Plants. A combination of high temperature and high radiance during heat waves result in external fruit damage that's known as a sunburn. In Japanese plums, high temperatures might deplete internal fruit oxygen, triggering anaerobic respiration with the subsequent accumulation of ethanol, causing two forms of internal damage known as peat burn and gel breakdown. Damage that's not apparent at harvest manifests in cold storage, and this reduces fruit quality. Research on heat damage has been focusing on apples with little to no information on Japanese plums. So temperature thresholds for thermal skin and flesh damage of Japanese plums are not known. In apples, maintaining high stem water potential and applying shade net was reported to alleviate damage. In Japanese plums, summer pruning is a common practice but its timing might affect fruit quality and development of sunburn. Research in this regard is lacking in plums, so the aim of this study was therefore to bridge this information gap. This study was organized into three chapters. First, we investigated how light and temperature interacted with the tree canopy in affecting general fruit quality and development of sunburn in plums. We compared early and late summer pruning to a no pruning control at different canopy heights. We assessed the effect of a 20% black and white shade net during the hottest part of the season. Second, we set out to have an understanding of the relationship between sunburn and plant water status by manipulating irrigation levels. And lastly, we investigated the physiology of peat burn and gel breakdown using three cultivars which is namely Fortune, Leticia, and African Delight. We assessed respiration and ethanol evolution under simulated heat wave conditions for fruit of different harvest maturity. And our quick results, chapter one, early summer pruning enabled adequate vegetative regrowth resulting in filtered light into the canopy during the oldest part of the season and therefore reducing fruit surface temperature and sunburn in addition, the fruit were bigger with a high total soluble solid and late summer pruning had the least vegetative cover during the hottest part of the season and subsequently higher sunburn. Controlled trees were characterized by excessive vegetative growth and fruit were shaded by water shoots which were predominantly at the top of the canopy. Although this reduced sunburn, it affected red color development and reduced fruit size and generally delayed harvest, harvest maturity. Shade net reduced photosynthetic photon flux and fruit surface temperature and so it reduced sunburn severity which was caused by the delayed pruning, particularly in the upper canopy. Fruit that developed sunburn received a photosynthetic photon flux greater than 50% of the the photosynthetic photon flux on average while average fruit surface temperature exceeded 35 degrees celsius chapter two deficit irrigation elevated canopy temperature fruit surface temperature and sunburn and reduced stem water potential flesh firmness and gas exchange the increased heat load could be attributed to diminished evaporative evaporative cooling as a result of reduced transpiration Excessive irrigation did not reduce sunburn of food surface temperature to levels lower than that of this control. And in chapter 3, increases in ethanol at harvest and internal damage after cold storage were higher in more mature fruit treated at 30 degrees and 40 degrees but tended to decline at 45 degrees Celsius in Leticia, probably due to curing. In fortune, more mature fruit were constantly more susceptible to internal heat damage. No internal heat damage symptoms were observed in uh, African delight, possibly due to this cultivar's high skin permeability that prevented the accumulation of threshold ethanol levels. We concluded that lower irrigation levels increase sunburn in plants. However, there was no evidence that excessive irrigation decreased sunburn. Light manipulation and its timing is therefore important. Internal heat damage is cultivar dependent with possibilities of heat curing at specific temperatures. I would like to acknowledge the following. Thank you.